This week, about 1,300 fast food workers will attend a union-sponsored convention in Chicagoland. They'll learn how to do whatever it takes to unionize and to raise wages to $15 an hour. The Service Employees International Union's fast food point man is Kendall Fells. He's in charge of the nationwide fast food workers' protest movement. Mr. Fells says that his mission is building leadership power and doing whatever it takes, depending on what city they're in and what the moment calls for. In past days, unions doing whatever it takes included intimidation, violence, and other thuggish behavior. The SEIU knows that firsthand. Now, the AP reports that one fast food worker, a single mother of four, says she wants to shut these businesses down until they listen, even if it takes occupying the restaurants. She says that fast food owners earn enough to have houses, cars, and take care of their kids. She asked, why don't they make sure I can be able to do the same for my kids and my family? Now, some of you are asking, well, why doesn't your husband or your baby daddy or baby daddies take care of your kids? Be quiet. These are questions you shouldn't ask. The AP profiles another worker, a single mom of two, forced into a one-bedroom place with the kids after her hours were cut from full-time to 20 hours a week. AP neglects to mention why. The Obamacare mandate, a present from another liberal guy who does whatever it takes to spread his misery all over the country.